Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the series I am making called Building Shamar. In this series, I will be showing time lapses of builds I am making in my city, and I will explain my process of building them. In this episode, I will be building a large bridge in the town of Marathon, which will be used to connect the main city to the suburbs. This bridge is based on the Daniel Hone Memorial Bridge in Milwaukee. I thought the design looked good, and I thought that would fit the area well. This build took me about 6 hours to complete, and without further ado, let's begin the build. The first thing I did was remove some land and parts of the old highway so that I could have a blank slate to work on. I then went around and planned out where all the interchanges would go and started planning out how I would build the bridge. I needed to plan everything ahead of time so that there would be no complications when building. The first thing I changed on the interchange was to move the first off-ramp from the edge to the center of the highway. That way the second off-ramp could connect to the same spot on the highway later on down the bridge. I then started messing around with the off-ramp. I wanted to have more gradual curve, but it was difficult given the space restrictions. I think the end result is fine, but I still might fix it in the future. One thing I want to fix about the interchanges is that I want them to have a more gradual rise. Before they were a 1 to 6 grade, which I felt was a bit too steep, so I changed them to a 1 to 8 grade, which I felt was a lot better and more realistic. I finished the first off ramp, so I got to work on the second one. If I want to increase the grade on this one, I need the ramp to start a lot earlier since it goes up so high. Also, if you want to know more about the future of Shamar, then check out my last video where I went over my plan of the city. I'll put a card above if you want to check it out. I did a lot of messing around to try and figure out the best way to make this off ramp. Originally, I wanted it to cut across and go directly over the first off ramp, as you can see here, but the grade wasn't steep enough to meet that height, so instead I had to have it curve around like before. Looking back, having it curve around looks better, although I wanted to avoid having the bridge cut into the harbor below since it would block the boat loading area a bit. I then expanded the off ramp onto the highway and began planning the bridge. The Daniel Hohen bridge has different colored girders than the highway I had currently, so I made this special support column to help blend the changing styles together. I then began work on the axle bridge itself. I wanted it to rise gradually and have a 1 to 10 grade. When making elevation changes, I always like to use a combination of blocks and slabs since it helps to smooth out the slope. I then extended the bridge to where the center will be and extended the off ramp onto the bridge. It might not be super realistic to have an off ramp go directly onto a bridge, but because of the space constraint I didn't have many alternatives. I still think it looks fine though. I began work on the center of the bridge where the highway would arch over. My first attempt at making the arch wasn't very great so I tried again and got a much better result. In the background I made some small changes to the interchange and fixed a few issues that I found. I then started work on the bridge pillars. Any trick I like to use is to use stained glass panes like sideways slabs. It helps smooth out the pillar, and I use this trick a lot in other builds. I also swapped the quartz slabs on the bridge for stone slabs, since I thought they blended with the sign concrete better. Here I began work on the bridge arches. I actually had to use decimals to calculate the sizes and shapes of the arches. With this series and with this channel, I want to try and upload at least every other Friday. I'm pretty new to making content on YouTube and my life is pretty busy at the moment, so some videos might be late and my schedule subject to change, but this is what I would like to do. Back to the bridge. Unfortunately, the black support beams don't match up at the exact center of the bridge, so the arch won't be an exact circle, but I think it looks close enough. As I copied the bridge over, I wanted to expand the highway further, but a stadium I was working on was in the way, so I had to move it. Fortunately, Minecraft didn't like having to move 2.5 million blocks at once in the game crashed. So instead, I deleted a part of the stadium I was going to redo anyway, and I moved the stadium in sections, and that seemed to work fine. 
I was now able to copy the rest of the bridge over, and it marked an area where the bridge would end. From there, the highway will continue on and go past the future stadium. Originally, I was just going to leave the side of the bridge blank, but then I decided that writing Marathon Bridge on the side would look nicer. I first used banners, but then a friend of mine suggested using blocks instead, so I tried that and thought that it did in fact look better. And the bridge is finished. I thought it turned out very well. I still might go back and fix some things about the highway interchange, so it's just making this off ramp curve larger, but other than that, I'm happy with the way the bridge turned out. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.